Good news on Social Security? No way! That's impossible! Everything we read has got to be negative fear-mongering. But it turns out there is some good news on Social Security. We're going to look at my man Mark Holbert here. Hold on. Right here. Uh, good news on Social Security finances. Dateline August 27th. The CBO has updated its projections. Now, I'm not a big fan of the CBO, the Congressional Budget Office. It's all, uh, they don't do dynamic spending. The, uh, the whole thing sucks. But be that as it may, this is best we got. We'll take good news when we can get it. Man, we got these happy people partying with Bill Clinton, skinny Bill Clinton, who's not with Hillary. Oh, interesting. Huh? What's old Clinton doing there? Not with Hillary. Anyway, so uh, the Social Security longevity uh, solvency, we received some good news. According to the uh, Social Security's Old Age and Survivor Insurance Trust Fund, they will remain solvent for an extra year longer than previously thought. All right. The analysis in turn suggests that some of the worst nightmare scenarios from uh, are not coming to pass from COVID pandemic. The new analysis was produced by the CBO, the nonpartisan, I, don't, I just don't care. Uh, to put his finding into context, it's helpful to remember that every year the Office of the Chief Actuary of Social Security updates its assessment on the trust fund solvency. His annual report is typically released in the spring. I haven't seen it, and apparently they're not going to release it this year. Don't know why. That seems awful weird to me. No such report has been forthcoming this year. In an email to the Chief Actuary's office, uh, they told me that the decision to release the report is not theirs to make, but actually up to the Treasury Department. Why are they not making it? I don't know. That's kind of odd. Um, so it looks like we're not going to have a report for the Social Security trustees report this year. Anyway, so the CBO may be the best alternative. And this year, the CBO estimated that trust fund will be depleted by 2031 last year. But this year, the new analysis will be 2032. That's the good news. You may object, of course. You say, oh, they're still running out of money. Oh, my goodness. But bear in mind, the dark days of the spring and summer of 2020, some organizations were projecting that because of the many economic and demographic repercussions, the trust fund could be depleted as early as 2026. I remember that, man. I, I tell you, I freaking tick me off all these people out there. Solace, Solace, Solace is also provided by folks on the bigger picture of Social Security. We have known for decades, for decades, that the trust fund would be depleted by the mid-30s. Tell me something I don't know. In fact, someone just emailed me or posted a comment. Check this out from Social Security. It says if we don't do anything, the trust fund will be depleted by 2034. I said, dude, tell me something I, I, we don't know. We've already known this. If you're just learning this, where you been, baby? Where you been? The projection of the Social Security actuaries made in 1983 was at a run out in the mid-2030s. And their projection has proven to be remarkably accurate. That's uh, I mean, that's a Social Security actuaries made in, 20, in 1983. So the financial media are doing retirees a disservice when they breathlessly report that the Social Security is running out of money. You think? Well, it's true that the trust will get depleted at some point in the 2030s. This is not news. Almost all congressional watchers who I've interviewed find it inconceivable that the politicians actually let it go broke. But they can see that Social Security, that Congress will most likely wait to the last minute. That's what happened in 1983 to fix it. Just increase the payroll tax by one half, one percent on both sides. Ugh, it's the fairest thing to do. It's worth remember, though, that even if the trust fund goes kaput, Social Security recipients will still receive the bulk of the benefits to which they would otherwise be entitled. For example, the CBO projects that in 2033, you'll still get 72% of it. Exactly. You're still going to get the bulk of it. It's not run, it's run out of money in terms of bankruptcy. It can't pay its bills, but just like anyone who goes bankrupt, it still can pay some of its bills. It's not, it, look, man, they're not going to reduce your social care. It's just, uh, stop. Anyway, so good news there. Should you freaking light a cigar with $100 bills? No, but, you know, let's take some good news while we can get it. Because we have some bad news to share with us. It's not bad. It's just silliness from more media sources. I'll share that with you next time. Thanks, man.